Pearson Airport, already an example of high security, had its security protocols tested today in public view. The male party, though, refused to be searched and uh, refused to cooperate with this, the screening uh, uh, security officers there. According to police, a 23-year-old man was trying to go through the security screening point, which is through these doors behind me. That is when they say he refused to be checked. He became aggressive. Three officers got involved. They were all assaulted. And that is when police say they used the taser to subdue him. One of the officers received an injury to his face. He and another officer were sent to hospital. The man who sparked the altercation is also being treated for what police would only say were, quote, medical reasons. This incident, of course, sparking reminders of the Robert Jakansky case in Vancouver's airport more than four years ago. The RCMP used a taser to subdue him after he became agitated and aggressive. Jakansky died as a result. A subsequent investigation found the officers didn't do enough to de-escalate the situation before a taser was employed. Peel police say their use of the taser was justified given the man's behavior. We use a use of force, uh, uh, I guess, model, and uh, we always start, you know, just by talking to somebody. And according to the officers that arrived on the scene, this male party was very agitated, not listening to the commands of officers. Or At this point, the Special Investigations Unit has not been called in. If the passenger was seriously injured, however, it would have been. Passengers we spoke to are mixed on the police response. If the guy's not armed, why use a taser? There could be more ways of talking to the guy, dealing with the guy. For me, traveling in a, in a flight with this gentleman, they didn't want to be um, checked, that, that would be a problem. Anthony Robart, Global News.